tell them where we're going, what we're about to do? We're going to get ice <laughs> at the Sigsby Marina, and then we're going to look for lobsters right here in the mooring field because it's really rough and the winds are from the east and we have a little protection. So. There you have it. Wish us luck.
Well, Turks, how was it? That's that's pretty much how it was. Like <laughs> that sums up. I feel like he's just like, where's my lobster? <laughs> like demanding his lobster. Yeah. We got hungry cats. We weren't able to. We weren't able to provide for them on this day. We saw, we saw quite a few. We caught quite a few. Every one that we did catch was just a little too undersized. And there was one, maybe two keepers out there. One of them slipped away. I lost sight of it. And the other one went deep, deep into a hole. So they lived to see another day. It's no wonder how they got to be so big because they know how to evade us. So, another time. There is a seafood festival going on today. So if we just really you know can't kick our craving for lobster we could run over there but truth is I can't even eat them and I'm still kind of disappointed about how still disappointed at uh, the results but it's his life they'll be out there for another day and so we'll okay so I'm pretty confident where we're going we might be able to land some lobster. If not, then we've got some serious problems and we just need to hang it up for good. We made a pit stop at a seafood festival to snack on some local delicacies, but we had to hurry downtown to catch Experimento before their set was over. Is that his wave? Yeah. Or scratching his ear, he's saluting. I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> but I think he's uh saying saying hello and thanks again for, for tuning in to another one of our vids. Um, this one this was a fun one, but uh, we, we learned a lot uh, out there, mostly mostly under the water. As you can kinda see what's happening when we're out there catching a the lobster is uh, we're catching a lot of them. And they're, they're obviously undersized, so as time went on, we sort of realized, we kind of got to eyeball what it looks like whenever they're, they're undersized, so that we were able to devote a little bit more time to searching for the ones that are of proper size. But 
a lot of that was a little bit too late and um, we actually didn't know how deep we were going to be so I think that we were a little overdressed we probably could have just snorkeled or free dived that little area and been just fine with a lot less gear and probably moved a little bit quicker and had less uh, just less going on so we could have moved efficiently but yeah. Oh well, Our next buoyancy time. buoyancy was a little off. I think we had a hard time like staying yeah. down and being stealth mode for the lobsters. But yeah. but that's right, we learned. And it was cool. I mean, there was a lot more lobsters than I thought there was going to be down there. And I was surprised at how many we caught and then how many were not keepers. <laughs> but we went late in the season, so now we know to maybe go early in the season. Go early. Yeah, we know a little bit about the about their habits and we were in fairly shallow water so we know that a lot of the bigger ones they they tend to go offshore in the winter months so maybe if we go out in the summer we have a better chance of catching them we have a few weeks left and a couple of weeks left in lobster season but we're probably not going to get out there let's just be honest but i'll tell you what we do have coming up um the video after this we go out and we we go out to anchor out overnight, and we fail. <laughs> <laughs> and the video after that, <laughs> we go out to anchor out overnight, and there's success. We go out to uh, Boca Grande, Boca Grande Key. For my birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that cat's doing. Sleeping. And the video after that, we go out and we anchor out for several nights in the dry tortugas. So, if any of that interests you, then I suggest that if you are not already subscribed, then you subscribe. And if you don't have your notifications turned on, you hit that little bell thingy McJigger so that you are notified whenever we post more videos. I will try to get these next three up here in a fairly, fairly quickly because we have a lot more. Because. because what in the world is that i don't know it's probably the rum but uh we have even more exciting things coming up after that hopefully so stay tuned thanks again for watching and we will see you next time put your hand over the over the thing to stop it yeah, yeah there you go